We're going to show you how to properly maintain a RE5C portable reference electrode from MC Miller. Some of the items I'm going to be using today come in the electrode fuel kit. We have copper sulfate crystals, copper sulfate antifree solution, which can be used year round or in high or low temperatures, a green scouring pad to clean your copper rod assembly, an extra plug or tip, as well as extra o rings. Now here's an example of an electrode that's been in the field, it's been used, and now it needs to be maintained. The first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew your copper rod assembly and empty out the old solution and crystals. Use deionized or distilled water to rinse off the copper rod assembly. Take the green scouring pad and burnish the rod. You'll want to get this as clean as possible to where it's a nice shiny finish. Set your copper rod assembly off to the side to where it doesn't get contaminated and rinse out the Lexan tube. Check your threads at the top and the bottom, make sure you don't have any copper or sulfate crystals still in there. Now you're going to want to inspect your plug, make sure it's not cracked or chipped. I would suggest replacing it every time you go to clean it. Now I've got some copper sulfate crystals already pre-measured and you're going to want to fill the Lexan tube about one third of the way. Again, use deionized or distilled water and fill the tube just below the threads. Screw back your copper rod assembly. Shake it up a few times. You'll see the copper sulfate crystals start to dissolve with the water. Nice dark blue color. Let it sit for 24 hours and you're good to take it to the field.